Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. We have received a laptop here, HP One. Its a model number is 15S DR 0002TU. 15S iPhone DR 0002TU. Guys, just I wanted to give you information. I have received in dead condition. HP Service Center. They took 15 days time and then they returned in a dead condition. Power on no display condition. So actual problem was it was not detecting the SSD and hard disk. So that was the original problem but when customer received it was in dead condition. Dead, not dead it's a power on no display case. See one thing I wanted to inform you people while opening this case please have patience if you know very well then only open otherwise see here it has a cut mark okay and here also cut mark hmm? see this also cut and here 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 see what kind of service you are doing please beginners take a care have a guidance of uh, elders one then only you open please don't damage anything that is my uh, intention that's it see so anyway it was in no display case finally i found and i rectified that problem issue got solved now it came to uh, previous status means power on no display it has hdd and ssd both it has but it's not detecting sometimes in many cases it won't detect so here i wanted to tell uh, the communication between ssd and pch ssd and pch what it will be there so let's see the schematic the model number laptop model sorry motherboard model number is la iphone h 323p uh, we will check in schematic. Let us discuss about communication between SSD and PCH. Here I have opened the schematic of LAH323P. Means LA-H323P. So we are searching for SSD, right? So directly I will go to pin uh, page number 32. This is JSSD part. So what it contains, what are the basic voltage required that, let us check, see, so many pins are there here, approximate, see, total 69 pins are there, hmm? don't get afraid, all 69 are not testable, so only few pin if you check, so that is more than enough in SSD, see, the basic thing is inputs, first we need to check what are the inputs are required see first required is 3 vs underscore ssd this is voltage 3.3 voltage here 3.3 voltage here pin number 2 4 12 14 16 18 okay and then it's uh, 62 64 66 3.3 volts required so next anywhere uh, it's showing yeah here 3 vs See this particular RS22 required 3 VS and here also see RS21 required plus 3 VS. First we need to check these voltages are available or not. So next part is PLT RST. This is the major signal from IO PLT RST. Okay. This required 3.3 volts after this dv slp2 okay this is input signal this also we need to check see slp dv slp so if you check this rs42 register then you come to know what exact voltage it's available here okay here is the one input this is actually supply input any other here one two 3 4 and finally it's a 5 okay only that much and next after this supply and after this plt rst 
then it releases a signal called clock required PCIe where it will go that we need to check it's a page number 9 ok clock required <coughs> that is the one output thing after that any other inputs see if we come this side data transmitter and data receiver transmitter in the sense it sends the request to PCH from this part ok this one is receives the uh, result from PCH ok TX and RX transmit and receive uh, this alert after once communication will happen these things will happen at, uh, automatically so here two things are there data transmitter data transmitter not here uh, here clock PCI PCI these two are input this is coming from page number 9 in the sense it 100% it's a PCH page so ok clock requirement see very simple SSD things is very simple first we need to check the input voltages and after that input voltage that what is that input signal PLT RST ash and then this here one condition is there if SSD underscore P detect see if this is high <coughs> then automatically this portion will be in low condition once it low this particular signal ssd1 underscore if this will goes to page number 11 ok after that some depends on this condition this will work or not the pch will decide ok so where it has gone that i will check so copy i am searching here page number 11 ok page number 11 see what it contains this is a PCH what portion it is see PCIe SATA and USB SSD your SSD will work through PCI bus PCI bus ok I'll repeat the communication between SSD and PCH will work through PCI bus so first information the SSD has connected or not that information goes to PCI I mean uh, the, this one through the, uh, this PCI bus to PCH then ok ninth page see this one is also PCH here is the SSD mark has given that clock requirement ash see that is the input to PCI PCH so this one and that one previous one if both you need to check once the input goes to PCH then the output result will come this two clock will generate ok this one for SSD ok clock PCI N3 P3 negative and positive it will uh, communicate with this particular uh, clock section page number 31 and this is the positive side and this is the negative side ok next anything is required no see ssd part only this three after once communicate starts so the tx and the rx which i told that process will start here which section it is this one is clock section ok 11th page is data transmitter and receive section std ssd see transmit and receive section once it detects so it will work start working ok guys we will come to the practical session and we will check what are the voltage we are getting hmm. see guys I will give the supply to this and let me check what are the condition of this SSD it's really detecting or not we will check so after that solution part is an entirely different thing but my intention was to uh, tell you people that communication between SSD and PCH what it will be what are the basic voltage we need to check ok now I am giving the supply here first we need to check 3 volts 3 vs ssd see here we can't access below this 
pin number, particular pin number we need to check, but see guys, we got the display here. Okay, are you able to see CMOS reset? Okay, in this condition, first I will, uh, in remove condition, this SSD I already removed. In this condition, what will be the voltages that we will check? First thing is 3 volts VS, right? SSD, see, it's available. See the DSO, it's 3.3 volts, it's available. So next, that 3 leg MOSFET. First we need to check that 3 leg MOSFET. For the condition of this, QS1. QS1. The condition is pin number 1. See here is the 3 leg MOSFET. Pin number 1 is not present. Note down here, pin number 1 is not present. Pin number 2, the voltage is present here. It's a pin number is uh, SSD P detect. Okay, here it's a present without SSD. We are checking here, so pin number 1 is not available. That is SSD if that signal. Okay. PLT RST. PLT RST will check nearby this IO. The same thing it has gone. See, here I am checking PLT RST. That also available. It's 3.3 volts. PLT RST. Clock PCI. It's a clock enable signal. Here it's a pin number 1, 2, 3. See, there is no voltage, nothing. Clock enable. That also not present. And one more clock required PCIe that also output from this okay see there is no request from this side okay this one is without SSD condition in on state okay with SSD condition we will check once again so I will fix the SSD see I fixed the SSD now let me check what we have to check here Main thing is 3 volts we can't check because we having this SSD here. The only thing is 3 leg MOSFET is there that we can check. SSD 1 if that should go to PCH. Then See we got the display here. So now we will check SSD 1 if pin number 1 is P detect. See the voltage. Pin number 1 is P detect SSD P detect actually this should be low previously what it was it was high after fixing this also it is in high position see in if I'll check see if it's still ground here may be the issue because without or with in both condition the SSD one underscore if is not available okay so if it is not available definitely you won't get the clock okay clock this side if any voltage is there then we can check this time what are the voltage you will get that i will tell you uh, voltage we won't get but clock we can check previously we checked the clock right it is the pin number Three. There is no clock. Pin number two. There is no clock. Okay. So here may be the problem. So this problem will get solved or not. That is the secondary thing. So now onwards I will uh, do a work on it. But the main intention was with. I uh, mean, with the main intention was how it will communicate with pch the ssd thing will communicate with pch okay guys so here is the end of the section so thank you thank you very much